And good afternoon, everyone. Welcome to our coverage here on WCHC-TV Facebook Live, along with uh, Dave Woolever taking care of all the production work. I'm Randy Young, and I'll be serving as your uh, narrator and host for the broadcast today. We once again like to thank uh, Jim Van Dyke Automotive Center and the Summers Funeral Home as our community supporters. Well, the uh, parade is on its way. It left uh, approximately about uh, 20 minutes ago from the Washington Senior High School. Uh, the route was basically to come down uh, Elm Street and then make a left and work its way all the way through the downtown Washington Courthouse. It will disperse over at McHenry Field uh, after it uh, comes through the downtown area. As uh, you can maybe tell from our camera, we're up a little bit high. Uh, we're up on the uh, second floor of the administration building. And a real big thanks to uh, City Manager uh, Joe Denon and uh, the uh, city uh, folks for allowing us to once again broadcast from up here at the uh, site so that you can be able to see what's going on during the parade. Uh, unfortunately, earlier this week, we understand there was a little incident that one of the main poles, which the downtown sound system that uh, they got a grant for a couple of years ago and people really like to listen to Christmas music and uh, people throughout the downtown area can hear us publicly announcing the parade and it kind of did some damage and of course with the holidays uh, they have not been able to get it totally fixed so people here downtown can hear us but it's going to be kind of a small space so if you're watching on Facebook uh, it might be your best bet to find out what's going on. You have to time it with what we say and what you see, but uh, we hope that you will enjoy it. We'll be back as we uh, hear the sirens start. The parade will be coming our way in just about a minute or so, right after this from Jim Van Dyke and Summer's Funeral Home. believe the colder weather has arrived. Jim Van Dyke's Automotive Center says don't wait any longer to get your vehicle ready for winter driving. Call for an appointment at 740-335-2000 to get your winter weather maintenance work done now and don't wait until it's too late. Jim, Marlene, and Ray Van Dyke take this time to thank you for trusting them with your vehicle service needs and their staff will continue to provide professional and courtesy service. Since 2001, Jim Van Dyke is a name that people have come to trust. Again, call 740-335-2000 for an appointment or go online at jimvandyke.com. Jim Van Dyke's Automotive Center, 2247 U.S. 22 Southwest, Washington Courthouse. When the Summer's Funeral Home opened to serve this area in 1991, one of their top promises was to each family that they serve to provide thoughtful, caring, and respectful service to those in pain from the loss of a loved one. Terry Summers, his family, and staff continue that promise 30 years later to put your family needs first with the utmost professional care that they can provide. In your time of need, remember the Summers Funeral Home, 223 West Market Street, or call 740-335-6078. All right, we're back here in downtown Washington Courthouse as the uh, parade has worked its way to the downtown area. This year's parade theme is peace, hope, and joy. The uh, official start of the parade is working its way down. We're just about half a block away from it getting a little bit closer into sight where we can start uh, running down who's all in the parade. Uh, unofficially, it uh, looks around like 70 units will be in this year's Fayette County Chamber of Commerce Parade. Of course, last year with the coronavirus, we did not have a parade. It was canceled. So we're really happy to see that uh, things are starting to get back to some type of normalcy here in Fayette County and in downtown Washington Courthouse. We want to once again thank everyone for coming out today. We hope everyone had a real nice uh, Thanksgiving holiday. And this course will kind of continue to keep things going as far as the official kickoff of the Christmas shopping season. With Of course, uh, Black Friday was on Friday. Yesterday was Small Business Saturday. A lot of folks taking advantage of that with specials here in the downtown area. A lot of small businesses. And, of course, that uh, co-sponsored by the Chamber of Commerce. 
And, of course, now uh, the, today with the Chamber of Commerce Holiday Parade. Well, leading things off for the 2021 Christmas Parade, Peace, Hope, and Joy is being led by Fayette County Sheriff Vernon Stanford and also Washington Police uh, Chief Jeff Freena. We appreciate our law enforcement officials and the hard work that they uh, put on uh, throughout uh, the year uh, protecting us and our safety here in Washington Courthouse and Fayette County. As the folks go by, wave at them, let them know, applaud, appreciate them and their hard work. Right behind them will be the Boy Scout Troop 112, sponsored by the First uh, Presbyterian Church. A scout is trustworthy, loyal, helpful, friendly, courteous, kind, obedient, cheerful, thrifty, brave, clean, and reverent. Once again, that's the Boy Scout Troop. 112, sponsored by First Presbyterian Church. You guys got Troop 5112. Okay, well, somebody forgot to put a 5 in front of our uh, number script here. Sorry about that. Coming up next is our Grand Marshal George Hellenthal, car driven by Kyler Kelly in a very beautiful Corvette, selected for his longtime commitment and dedication to the citizens of Fayette County is George Hellenthal. Before moving to Washington Courthouse in 1968, George has been an integral part of the community as a business owner, a volunteer, firefighter, an auxiliary deputy sheriff, and more importantly, as a devoted husband, father, and grandfather. For more than 50 years, George has volunteered his services to the citizens of Fayette County as a Concord Green Fire Department fighter and auxiliary deputy sheriff. And during his time at the Sheriff's Department, became part of the Sheriff's Rescue Team, and over the course of the next 42 years, became Southern Ohio's experts in removing victims trapped and uh, victims following traffic crashes. And also as part of the auxiliary, donated and volunteered more than 40 hours working security at Miami Trace sporting events, earning a Lifetime Achievement Award from the Miami Trace Athletic Boosters. Let's hear it for our Grand Marshal, Mr. George Hellenthal. Up next is Boy Scout Troop 7312, Fayette County's first female scout, Boy Scout organization troop, the troop's chartered organization is the Fayette County Fish and Game, and they meet there on Mondays at 6.30. Troop 7312 is an outdoor focus group who camps daily. Also now coming back is pack number 112. Following them is the Fayette County Veteran Honor Guard. Next is a group called Tribute Banners for Washington Courthouse. They've taken over the honor of providing service to the military tribute banners in Washington Courthouse, and they're blessed with the privilege and grateful to this great community for their support. Thank you to our veterans, and God bless America. Coming up next, you can see Ronald Harper. He is representing those in honor of those who served and have served in our country, for our country. Coming up next is the Fayette County Junior Fair Royalty, including Fair Queen Garen Walker, First Lieutenant Taylor Moore, Attendants Abby Mick and Katrina Koski, the Lamb and Wool Queen Abby Brandt, the Dairy Princess Alexis Gardner, Goat Ambassador, Emma C, Beef Queen, Graceland Zimmerman, Pork Queen, Abby Alshire, Horse Queen, Laura Lee King, Small Animal Queen, Lindsay Stump, and Drivers Doug Marine, and also Dr. Bob Schwartz. Coming up next, the Washington Courthouse Marching Band. The band has become an icon of Washington Courthouse and represented the state of Ohio three times in the National Independence Parade in Washington, D.C. on the 4th of July.
Following the Blue Lion Marching Band is the cheerleading group from Washington Courthouse, along with head coach Tara Bivens, assistant coaches Valerie Campbell and Sherry Green, wishing everyone peace, love, and joy this holiday season. Following them will be students and staff wishing everyone a very blue, 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 blue Christmas. It's more of our youngsters from the Washington City School System. Following them is one of our businesses here in Fayette County, the Carriage Court Assisted Living. They're here to meet the needs of the community with assisted uh, living and memory support. What? Yeah. Once again, down in front of us, more of the Blue Lions student body. Some of the administrators and coaching staff. And then, of course, don't forget about the big blue bus that the Washington City School System started several years ago that has gained a lot of recognition across the state of Ohio serving meals to those in need, especially during the summertime and those times that the schools was closed down because of the coronavirus. Now we have the Carriage Court Assisted Living of Washington Courthouse. They're here to meet the needs of the community with assisted living and memory support. Nice uh, van, nice lettering there. Like that orange popping out there like that to us. Coming up next is modeled uh, vehicles. Followed by the ERA, a primitive design in the 1953 uh, Chevy located on Snow Hill Road Southwest. ERA Martin Associates Real Estate offering over 30 years of experience and honored to be part of the Fayette County community. Here we have now the Washington Courthouse Little League program. They have been chartered through Little League International since 1955. They provide baseball for Fayette County youth ages 3 through 12. Like our Facebook page for details on our upcoming spring baseball season. All seasons towing, based right here in Washington Courthouse, call 740-313-2677 for your towing and roadside needs. I'd see Summers being wrong go through there. I'd see some. Right now we have numerous divisions of the uh, Aladdin Shriners. They include the Legends of Honor, uh, Devant, Creston, and Shimitar, Provost, Clowns, also the Brutal Brothers, also members of the Washington Shriners Club, Tarhi, the Motorcycle Corps, and the Daughters of the Nile. All these different divisions work together for the Shriners Club to help raise funds to help those children. 
that may need in time of tragedy. That's here for the Shriners Club and for all the fine work they do for us here in Fayette County. More representatives coming from the Shriners Club in the back of the old uh, fire truck. Some familiar faces. Coming up next is the Fayette County Republicans Club who wish you a Merry Christmas and remind you that even Santa wears red. Up next is over 45 years, the Bedford uh, family has delighted in sharing the true meaning of Christmas in a spirit of giving and celebration the birth of Jesus Christ, wishing one and all a happy Christmas from your friends at Bedford Ford. Several different uh, vehicles there coming through our downtown area, part of the parade. Hard to believe, but colder weather has arrived. Jim Van Dyke's Automotive Center says don't wait any longer to get your vehicle ready for winter driving. Call for an appointment at 740-335-2000 to get your winter weather maintenance work done now. And don't wait until it's too late. Jim, Marlene, and Ray Van Dyke take this time to thank you for trusting them with your vehicle service needs and their staff will continue to provide professional and courtesy service. Since 2001, Jim Van Dyke is a name that people have come to trust. Again, call 740-335-2000 for an appointment or go online at jimvandyke.com. Jim Van Dyke's Automotive Center, 2247 U.S. 22 Southwest, Washington Courthouse. Coming by is the Integrity uh, Athletics, Athletics Fayette Girls Team. We have the gymnastics. We've got some that's a uh, little bit on the smaller size. It's coming down here. Coming up next is the Good gro uh, Dog Groomery, because all dogs are good dogs. Special guests include Marshall from Paw Patrol and Clifford, the big red dog. Got grandkids, very familiar with those animals. The Fayette County Regional Humane Society, helping the homeless, abused, and neglected animals since 1979. Some of the volunteers some of the animals from the Humane Society. Got some of our law enforcement officials from Humane Society and the vehicles waving and tossing out some candy. Don't know if their aim is high enough for us up here in the uh, press area, but uh, still good to see. Up next is the city of Washington Courthouse. Following them is the Ohio Storm Chasers from Fayette County. Then it's Merry Christmas from Jay's Plumbing and Repair. Just started up a brand new upcoming 4-H club called Heads, Hearts, and Hoofs. Got to see those young people involved. 
We now have another business in, coming by in their van, and that, of course, is the Greenfield Skilled Nursing and Rehabilitation, where it's all about living. Following them as our parade continues to move along, the Staunton Bulldog Baseball and Softball Association would like to welcome any boys and girls four years of age to 15 years of age at Staunton in the uh, spring and fall. Staunton is also the home of Lunatic and Lunatic travel teams. Our friends out at the Bible Baptist Temple is on their float. It is a tie-dye float. Purple represents the royalty of Christ. Gold represents God's kingdom and red for his redeeming blood. Following them is a new business been established here recently. It's doing very well. Vinyl Coffee. It's all about good coffee, food, community. Go visit them downtown the next time that you need good coffee. When the Summer Funeral Home opened to serve this area in 1991, one of their top promises was to each family that they serve to provide thoughtful, caring, and respectful service to those in pain from the loss of a loved one. Terry Summers, his family, and staff continue that promise 30 years later to put your family needs first with the utmost professional care that they can provide. In your time of need, remember the Summers Funeral Home, 223 West Market Street, or call 740-335-6078. All right, we're back here at the 2021 Fayette County Christmas Parade. Peace, hope, and joy again. Grand Marshal this year, George Hellenthal. Got a little break here in the parade. As we'll try to keep you informed as to the events going on here in downtown Washington Courthouse. Those are join us via the On Demand Facebook. Again, our thanks to the Summer's Funeral Home and also Jim Van Dyke Automotive Center for underwriting the cost of uh, our coverage today and hope that uh, you go back many, many times. You can share this with folks outside the area as well. Coming up next is PATH, Positive Advocates Teaching and Healing. PATH Behavior Healthcare is a new business in Washington Courthouse now accepting new clients. Whoville welcomes PATH Behavior health. Right after them is the classic DJ service. Always a good time. They specialize in weddings, graduations, retirement parties. You can follow them on Facebook Book them for your next event, Classic DJ Service. Don't forget now, of course, the Fayette County Toys for Tots. Looking for our boxes throughout the, out the county. Be a hero, support Toys for Tots because every child deserves a good, uh, deserves a little Christmas. Coming up next, it looks like it's going to be Girl Scout Troop 8882, led by Troop Leader Jennifer Owens. The troop started uh, brand new two years ago and has since become Brownies with 10 members. The troop is being uh, transported by Brad Hayes, owner of Hayes Tire and Auto, and one of the troop's dads. Happy holidays and be sure to help support our troop during cookie season. Go Troop 8882. Following them will be a float from Command Heating, a float featuring the Grinch. They say Merry Christmas and Happy Holidays from Command Heating. Coming up next is a, an organization, the Southern Ohio Jeepers Association. They are a group of Jeep enthusiasts who enjoy a wide variety of Jeep adventures 
all while supporting those in need in Southern Ohio. Check us out on Facebook at Southern Ohio Jeepers Association. Boy, look at that. That is some nice groups of uh, Jeeps. Let them hear it that you appreciate them coming up today. Good group of Jeeps coming up from the Southern Ohio Jeepers Association. Different collars, different styles, the ribbons. Wave them, wave at them as they go by, please. Let them feel welcome here to the parade today. Good to see them. So we have folks from all over Southern Ohio that will travel in to be a part of this Chamber of Commerce Christmas Parade here in downtown Washington Courthouse and on Facebook, WCHC TV. It's an interesting Jeep, the green one there with the Grinch. <laughs> kind of like that one. <laughs> Got the Grinch uh, there in the back sticking its head out. That's a, that's a nice looking Jeep, let me tell you. Well, coming up next is one of the largest employers, I would honestly say, probably here in Fayette County, and that's the Walmart Distribution Center, Wall Courthouse, uh, first of all, Walmart stores being represented. They like to wish everyone a happy holidays. And then Walmart Dis uh, Transportation 7812 and the Walmart uh, Distribution Center 7012 is being represented here in the parade. They're wishing everyone a happy holiday. The driver is Nick Klontz. Well, the greatest gift of all is free, and that is Jesus is God's gift to you. Peace, hope, and joy to all from the Grace United Methodist Church here in Washington Courthouse. Very nice float there by the church today. Good group of folks marching with them. Coming up next is representatives from the Roller Haven. It's a great place to have your next birthday or group party. Come skate at Roller Haven. Following them will be adults and staff of the Fayette Progressive Industries. Fayette Progressive Industries is a nonprofit organization that offers a wide range of services to individuals with disabilities. They are ready to serve help with services ranging from daily living to independent employment supports and everything in between. Fayette Progressive Industries. Some of the folks that uh, attend there, marching behind the big bus, waving. It's good to see you. Coming up next is First State Bank. They would like to take this time to thank you for your business this year and also would like to wish everyone a Merry Christmas. That's the First State Bank here in Washington Courthouse. Coming up next is the First Diversity Staffing. It is a uh, full service. Now, well, check it. I guess we got a little change here. We got the Fed Bible Church is coming up next first. So let's make sure we recognize them. Of course, Pastor Tony Guerin at the Fayette Bible Church, along with some of the members of the congregation there. I want 
to thank them for being part of today's parade from Fayette Bible Church. As happens sometimes when we get the printout of the parade, there are some last minute changes, so we are trying to stay on top of the best we can here. Rent to Own is coming up next with uh, their big uh, delivery truck. Don't forget, if you mentioned you saw them at the parade, you can get a week free on new rental. That's at Rent to Own. We even got a Grinch riding a motorcycle in today's parade. How about that, huh? <laughs> Coming up next is the uh, Christmas Elves, Mike and Kim Stevens and Amanda Smith. Following them, we have representatives from the Gathering Place. Uh, Pastor John Piper there out in the front leading the uh, group as different rep uh, members uh, from the uh, church marching here in the parade. The Gathering Place uh, kids love Jesus and are excited to celebrate His peace, hope, and love. Once again, that's the Gathering Place. Coming up is the Fact Fayette Advocating Change Together, a self-advocacy group that helps people with disabilities can be seen as valued, respected citizens in order to connect with the community. Stand up, speak out, that's facts. Of course, one of the hottest shopping destinations in Ohio is the Destination Outlets. It's your destination for savings, food, and fun. The Destination Outlets. Well, after tonight, today's parade, you're probably going to be a little bit hungry. How about some pizza? That's right. Uh, the game on arcade and pizza. Mario Lagini uh, is walking along. Owners are Mark Wilson and Chris Batson. Coming up next is the Twisters All-Star Cheerleading Program, consisting of three teams this season, a mini prep, a level one youth, and a level three duo led by head coach Sarah Greenwald and assistant coaches Mark Holloway and Auburn Pierce. You can see the Twisters perform at their first competition coming up December 5th or at any of their other competitions throughout the season. Good luck, Twisters. Also, one of the businesses here in Fayette County, Washington Courthouse Home Depot, celebrating a hippie Christmas. Up now is the 2022 Ross County Miss Agriculture USA Allie Reeves, Allie, welcome to Fayette County. We are Agricates for Agriculture. Now we got the Eagles Baseball Club, local travel ball program that provides youth of Fayette County the travel ball experience without all the travel. Hi guys from the Eagles organization. Coming up next is the Dragon Angels Car Club was founded in 1957, which means they're as old as I am, serving the community with scholarships, food, and many other activities. Boy, they've got some beauties there, don't they? My goodness, look at those.
Once again, these are individuals from the Dragging Angels Club, Car Club. Which next year will be celebrating their 65th anniversary. I counted up to about a dozen. I've lost count, David, to be honest with you. There's a lot of cars here, let me tell you. Beautiful, beautiful vehicles. We know this area has a lot of car shows throughout the year, different sites, but different organizations. But uh, Dragon Angels is probably one of the leaders in this area and showing these vehicles off. And again, money is raised to go to help out with uh, scholarships and other activities. We appreciate all those folks being part of today's 2021 Christmas Parade, which once again our theme this year is peace, hope, and joy. Coming up now is representatives from Tony's Welding and Fabrication. It's a local fabri metal fabrication shop located in Washington Courthouse. They're a family-owned business and have been in business for 18 years. They specialize in structural steel fabrication and erection as well as local repair, welding service, metal supply, and crane service. Call them today for all of your metal needs. Once again, the folks from Tony's Welding and Fabrication. Folks that might be viewing from home, you say, boy, this, this parade is going pretty quick. It is, but believe it or not, as we mentioned before, we had over 70-some units sign up today. And once they get started, they keep going. They don't slow down. We try our best to keep you up to date on uh, here, the folks that can hear us, and also those that uh, are watching. Well, coming up next now is Paul Blisser with Assistant Taylor Evans. Uh, collar Guard Instructor Amy Strittenberger and Majorette Instructor Jamie Etzler with Drum Major Jacob Klein. Ladies and gentlemen, the 2021 Miami Trace High School Marching Panther Pride. Well, sometimes you can get lucky and you can hear them playing some songs, and other times you just get the drums, but that's okay. Probably about the time they get past our, out of our areas when they're going to start playing. Look at that big vehicle, folks, uh, behind them there that uh, carries all their instruments and so forth. Well, nothing says peace, love, and hope. Christmas like a traditional gingerbread house and also gingerman cookies. Miami Trace cheerleaders are spreading cheer and sweetness this holiday season. Right behind them is the Miami Trace Youth Football and Cheer celebrating their seventh season by wishing everyone peace, hope, and joy this holiday season. We had an opportunity to do a little Panther football this year on WCHC. Coming up next, yeah, going to be kind of a little busy here, aren't we? And a little bit noisy because we got some of the trucks coming up from the county. And then following them, as you maybe can hear in the background, I would think my mic might be able to pick it up, David. 
will be some of the different fire departments represented. We'll try to recognize them as they get a little bit closer. But right now, we've got some of the trucks that the Fayette County uses out on our roadways to keep our roads uh, clean and safe during the winter driving season. And though we don't want to think about it, it's going to be here before we, we know it. Once again, a reminder, if you tuned in late or if you didn't catch all of the parade, don't forget, it will be available on demand. You can watch it anytime with the program being presented by the Summers Funeral Home and Jim Van Dyke Automotive Center on demand here on WCHC Facebook and we'll also be putting it on our YouTube channel as well. Well, someone says, where's all the sirens coming from? They can say downtown, huh? We've got some of the different groups here. The Box 65, which is the rehab unit for all the first responders. We got the Fayette County EMS with us. There's got to be at least 15 or 20 fire trucks and squads behind these, uh, David. Just to kind of give you folks an idea, like we're saying, we're in the city building up on the second floor. We can see all the way down to where uh, North, North Street's at, close to where the uh, Tenet's DP station's at. And there's tr fire trucks all the way down there, almost two full blocks. Here's a pick a Bay fire truck representing their organization. We have about three or four trucks involved here. It's a good excuse if you have a dad or somebody's connected with the fire department, get to ride a fire truck in the parade, you know? We have the VPM Joint District. It comes representatives from the Concord Green Township Fire Department. Also, Wayne Township Volunteer Fire Department is in today's Chamber of Commerce parade. I've done enough of these parades, folks. I've learned they no sense trying to battle with these sirens. <laughs> you couldn't hear me anyway. More Wayne Township Volunteer Fire Department trucks and vehicles coming by. Now we uh, have the folks from the Jeffersonville, Jeffersonville area, the Jefferson uh, Township Fire Department to be exact. With a couple of their uh, trucks and squad. And finally, heading our way, the guy that we've been waiting for for quite a while, the man needs no introduction to say the least. We call him the man from up north. We say way north. And that, of course, is the arrival of your friend of mine as he's just about ready to enter the screen here. We'll hold on just for a second as they want to get everybody cleared out so they can bring him in. There he is. There you see him, boys and girls, those watching on uh, Facebook or on the uh, YouTube channel. There he is, St. Nicholas himself, 
Riding in uh, one of the uh, tower ladders by the Washington Fire Department, one of their buckets. And making an entry there. Hi, Santa Claus. Waving to all the boys and girls. He uh, had an opportunity to see the boys and girls earlier today. Good uh, number turned out. A lot of the boys and girls sharing their uh, Christmas wishes. So uh, Santa Claus going by as we are slow to wrapping it up. We're going to take one final uh, word from our sponsors, and then we come back, we'll do a final comment right here on Facebook Live. To believe but colder weather has arrived. Jim Van Dyke's Automotive Center says don't wait any longer to get your vehicle ready for winter driving. Call for an appointment at 740-335-2000 to get your winter weather maintenance work done now. And don't wait until it's too late. Jim, Marlene, and Ray Van Dyke take this time to thank you for trusting them with your vehicle service needs and their staff will continue to provide professional and courtesy service. Since 2001, Jim Van Dyke is a name that people have come to trust. Again, call 740-335-2000 for an appointment or go online at jimvandyke.com. Jim Van Dyke's Automotive Center, 2247 US 22 Southwest, Washington Courthouse. When the Summer Sweener Home opened to serve this area in 1991, one of their top promises was to each family that they serve to provide thoughtful, caring, and respectful service to those in pain from the loss of a loved one. Terry Summers, his family, and staff continue that promise 30 years later to put your family needs first with the utmost professional care that they can provide. In your time of need, remember the Summers Funeral Home, 223 West Market Street, or call 740-335-6078. Wow, wasn't that fun? Fantastic. Once again, 2021 Fayette County Chamber of Commerce Parade. Uh, Christy uh, Bowers and her staff down at the Fayette County Chamber of Commerce did an outstanding job putting this together. The bands participating, the businesses, the different church organizations, the different groups. We hope you enjoyed it as well. Again, once the parade gets started, I'm telling you, they go quick. So hopefully we got them all in there for you. You might have to go back and watch it a few times. But we do appreciate everyone joining in. And hopefully, once again, don't forget to shop local uh, for this Christmas season. Our thanks to uh, Dave for his great job in the uh, technical aspects of it. Our thanks again to uh, City Manager uh, John Denon and the folks here from the city depart uh, departments for allowing us to use their offices here as we're broadcasting up above the uh, viewing area above the parade route. As we can see, a lot of the folks were at the start of the parade are passing by, so that means they're starting to assemble down at McHenry Field. But hopefully next year we'll be back again and have even a bigger and better parade for you. So until the next time we catch you, we hope you all have a Merry Christmas. And again, our thanks to Jim Van Dyke Automotive Center and also the Summers Funeral Home for underwriting today's cost for coverage of the 2021 Fayette County Chamber of Commerce right here on WCHC-TV Facebook.